Yes, this is an excellent and very important question to address. Our technology, our all-in-one solution for converting oil-compatible bioactive extracts into water-compatible or water-soluble forms, in principle works for anything that is oil-compatible. It could be any type of cannabis extract, isolate, distillate, but it doesn't even have to be necessarily cannabis-related. It could be an essential oil, it could be a terpene, it could be a mixture of different oil-compatible ingredients, terpenes mixed with cannabinoids, perhaps also mixed with essential oils, perhaps oil-soluble vitamins, all kinds of things that are oil-compatible or something that will dissolve in an oil. The rule of thumb is if it dissolves in a vegetable oil or let's say an MCT oil, then you can work with it. But Viscous extracts and isolates might need to be slightly diluted before you work with them, especially when you work with a nanostabilizer LSO. Nanostabilizer LSO is used to make powders um, or tablets. Nanostabilizer LT, which is used for making translucent liquid nanoemulsions, is much more tolerant to viscosity of your original material. So you don't have to worry about isolate being solid or some distillates being very viscous. Now, when working with nanostabilizer LSO to make water-soluble powders or tablets, it is typically necessary to dilute slightly viscous extracts or isolates or distillates with a small amount of MCT oil or a terpene or something that will make your input material a liquid. Typically, uh, the dilution would be done in a ratio of 1 to 4 or so, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, to make it so that your original material is a liquid at normal conditions. Once this is done, the extract becomes much more manageable and easy to process and will, just like any other oil-compatible material, uh, be possible to process and will lead to excellent and very reliable results.